Here we have the interface of Chimera X. It opens showing some of my previous structures and we'll use the command line at the bottom to open our structure by typing open 3FGU and 3FGU can be replaced with any PDB ID that you wish to open. When the structure loads, we get some information, which includes the ligands, the non-standard residues here. So we can see there are four ligands. I'm using a trackpad, so I'm clicking and dragging to rotate the structure. And our ligands are actually shown as sticks here. Here is the ligand that is outside of the active site. And if I hover over that, notice the little K for potassium. So our potassium ion is outside of the active site. We can rotate and zoom our view, and hovering over any of the ligands will show its name. If we hover over something in the protein, we'll also see that identifier. Currently, our ligands and the protein are shown in the same color, so we'll recolor to get some contrast. First, we'll color everything. Actions, color, and select a color. In the select menu, we can specify that we'd like to select the ligand and it lights up with a green glow. Going back to our Actions Color menu, we'll color this gray. Now we'll select All. Notice the whole protein and ligands light up, and we'll apply CPK coloring in the Actions menu, Color by Heteroatom. Deselection is easily done in several ways. I'm going to Control and click in the blank space here, and that deselects. Now, some amino acids are shown by default, but we're going to want to extend our active site. So we'll begin by hiding these residues to display just what we want. In the Actions menu, we can choose Atom Bonds and Hide. Now we'll just display our ligands. In the Select menu, select Structure Ligand. We can't see it since it's not shown right now. And now we can show the atoms bonds. The green magnesium ion is no longer shown, so we'll select residues magnesium, and we can show that as well using the atoms menu. We'll clear our selection, this time in the command line, by typing tilde select. Now we'll use our three active site ligands to define an object in our structure. We'll manually select the ligand, it's useful to zoom in. And I'm going to control shift and click on any bond or atom in each of these. And now I'm going to use the up arrow keys. I click them once and not everything is selected. Click one more time. And now we can see our three ligands are selected. To save this selection, we'll go to the select menu, define selector and type a name. Now with these selected, we want to find residues and water molecules within five angstroms. In the Select menu, select Zone. Toggle this to Residues. We want to show complete amino acid residues less than five angstroms from the selected atoms and click OK. Notice this lights up on the structure here. We'll show the atoms as sticks. And to center on it, we can use Actions View. Again, I'll control and click in the blank space to deselect my selection. It's time to display our hydrogen bonds. We might wish to zoom in again on the active site to see this happen. Notice there's already lines to the magnesium. In the Select menu, we'll find our user-defined selection that we named before, ligands. Click on that, and it selects everything as we see in green. Now in the Tools menu, Structure Analysis, H Bonds. We get a pop-up menu. We can change the color of these bonds if we like. I do like magenta. Make sure the Limit by Selection box is checked, and that this reads with at least one end selected. Notice we can show distance labels, but those will make our view busy. I won't show them here. Finally, we can click OK, and the hydrogen bonds appear. 
It's useful to see this in the context of the protein when we're getting started, but when we're trying to analyze interactions, it's sometimes useful to toggle off the cartoon. So let's clear our selection by clicking in the blank space control click and hide our cartoon. Now we're completely focused on the active site with less obscuring our view. We may wish to see the names of these residues that are hydrogen bonded and we can select them as before. Holding control shift, click on any atom in the interacting residues. I'll just show a few for this tutorial, but if you're analyzing the full active site, you may wish to select more. Click the up arrow until the entire residue is selected. Then in our actions menu, we'll add a label. And here we'll use the name combo, which gives us the name of the residue along with its numerical identifier. We can change this. We can change these to label simply by name if that's preferred. For publication or printing, you may wish to display this structure on a white background. Control click in the empty space to deselect, and we can use the command line. UCSF Chimera allows you to quickly save a PNG image to your desktop using the snapshot icon and the file menu can be used to save your session file.